Hello, this is my little scrapyard. Uh, when you're granulating copper wiring looms from cars, you end up with a lot of plugs because you have to cut them off. Uh, they won't just go straight through the granulator. I uh, sit in the house and uh, process all kinds of scrap, including domestic scrap from computers or whatever. Uh, I'm going to show you a typical plug in size it's it's one of the larger ones but I needed one to show you the detail of uh, what I do to, to process it uh, get a pair of pliers and uh, I pull the, the metal out with the wire on the end uh, you can't just weigh this in because it's got steel on it and uh, probably can't even shred it and then separate it by magnets because it's stainless steel on a lot of them and that can uh, get through to your granulator system because it doesn't get picked up by magnets uh, so you have to take that off which is uh, quite a job when you're trying to work a camera as well as uh, talk at the same time ok that's your steel and that's your, your copper your copper is tinned and uh, it doesn't look like copper that's most of the plugs inside if you see it wrapped in steel it will be copper inside but it's plated so I've got one here that, that's the same and the same kind of plug but I'll ground the other side to show you hang on, wrong one that's the tin side I've ground it off and you've got clean copper underneath so that's what I sit in the house and do on an evening now I also do absolutely everything I, I separate motors uh, and get the the windings out so my idea is to put it through the granulator not so much the big pieces I don't think I need to I think I can just put them in a bucket and weigh them in but the smaller plugs uh, really the problem starts with the smaller ones because some of them the tinning is actually magnetic and that can uh, cause a problem if you're trying to weigh it in plus to get the, the plastic insulation unclamped it's quite fiddly so I was thinking maybe I put these through the granulator and process them that way if I could get it through the screen as well at one millimeter size then uh, I would be probably showing more of the real copper colour and less of the tinning and the magnetic part as well so maybe it will clean it up enough to weigh it in with the with a wire so I've got the granulator set up with the screen and uh, you, you might think that that little scrapyard of mine in the house would take some time but if you're just doing it in your spare time while you're watching videos then it, it soon adds up and I've ended up with this bucket a large bucket full of all kinds of stuff from plugs to motor windings ribbon wire from computers and other electronics uh, also I have uh, some coaxial cable surprising that scrapyards uh, sorry scrappers on YouTube when they see coaxial cable a lot of them say oh, just leave it they don't take it to the scrapyard but it has quite a large piece of copper running through it so I just mix it in with this and then I'm going to process it all together so basically I've got a 1.5 millimeter screen in the granulator which means it's going to chop it up quite fine hopefully but if it's not fine enough to go through the screen 
it'll go into the waste bucket uh, which is that one and the smaller stuff will go in the clean bucket which can be fed into the separation system the water separation system so that's what I hope to do and then the, the waste bucket can go back through the granulator I want to see how many times it has to go through the granulator for it to turn into clean copper oh, I want to see what it looks like that's my experiment that I'm doing at the moment so I'm gonna set it all up and put some through it's a two-handed job so you'll have to go on the music stand again and uh, the first batch is the motor windings I want to see how quickly it cleans that up gets the varnish off maybe the fan will blow the, the small amount of dust or whatever away and the varnish and, and let the copper gradually go through to the one millimeter screen so I'll get back to you when I've got it all done set up okay I've got it all set up uh, I tried to get the granulator output in this in the shot as well as the outputs for the uh, vibrating table so it's going to get really noisy now so turn your headphones down or whatever you want to do and you get a true impression what it sounds like in the garage okay
proper out of uh, electric motors. Now the output bucket, the good side, I would normally cover because the dust comes over the top and gets blown away a bit. Quite a bit of it has settled into the into the copper, so I'm not getting a true impression of what it looks like. But that is ready to go through the separation system. All the copper has been cleaned off. All the varnish from the copper has been cleaned off, and then the what I call the waste bucket basically it needs to go through again because it's more than one millimeter in size it's got uh, quite clean copper in it as well so that's the copper windings from motors uh, I've got the main bucket I'm going to show show you how that looks when it gets granulated and separated and chopped up fine I should have said not separated because it it all has to go through the water separation to clean it up after so I'll get set up and I'll show you that right I'm going to give it a go with the tinned plug parts and also the it's mixed in with some domestic stuff uh, and give that a try
plenty more to do but I'm just going to show you this that's the copper that's minus one millimeter surprising how much comes out into the minus one millimeter bucket and and that's plus one millimeter there's not much copper in there at all so basically I think I'll just use a 1.5 millimeter screen and put it straight through the separation process next time uh, some people will ask what am I doing here why have I done it this way it's just an experiment to see how much tinned copper gets granulated down to minus one millimeter and how it looks in the mix so basically that still needs to go through the water separation process but I don't need to use the screen first I can, I can put it straight through with the normal copper wire and it'll be fine I think just need to keep an eye on it and then after it's been dried and it's nice and clean I can test it through the screen again just to see how much tinned copper comes back out and it can be sent through the process again okay thank you for watching